Nearly 2 million people are still without power tonight, but many are relieved the storm wasn't worse. Local 10's Cody Weddle leads our team coverage live in Vero Beach with a closer look at the devastation. Cody. And Nicole, we've been talking about the power of these tornadoes that were spawned by Hurricane Milton. We know that across the state, some of them have already been classified as EF3s. They picked up cars, small machinery, and they snapped so many trees in half, like this pine tree that came crashing down right into the bedroom of this home. <laughs> This cell phone video captures the emotion of a homeowner as she inspects the damage to her home after a tornado ripped through her neighborhood. Yeah, it was very weird to see. Adel Cordiano says he and his family had left the home right before Hurricane Milton made landfall, precisely because they worried the tree could fall over during the high winds. It was massive. We never trusted the trees in the first place. The massive pine crashing through the master bedroom where his parents normally sleep. Across this Vero Beach Highlands neighborhood, the sounds of hammers and repairs can be heard throughout the day. The cleanup very much underway after those tornadoes tore off roofs and siding and down tree branches and entire trees. Um, it goes really fast, um, but it feels like it's taking forever. Vanessa Hamilton and her daughter sought refuge in a doorway as the tornado came through. My son, he's not here right now. He, he shielded us with his body and we just waited for it to go by slightly south in Fort Pierce in the Spanish Lakes Country Club Village. Six lives lost after a tornado tore through mobile homes, in some cases leaving nothing but a field of debris behind. A war zone. It's bad. The entrance to the retirement community now blocked off by sheriff's deputies as the assessment of the damage continues. I mean, you can get through, but I don't want my back up in there. And you may be able to hear the sound of generators behind me, just like nearly 2 million homes across the state. This neighborhood going through another night with no power. We know that crews with the National Weather Service will be in this neighborhood in the coming days to assess the damage done by these tornadoes and to also classify the intensity of the tornadoes here. We're live in Barrow Beach tonight. I'm Cody Weddle. Local 10 News.